today I'm back with another review on a foundation. Now this is the foundation I've been loving. It's Bourjois uh, Air Matte Foundation. This is where that the makers of Bourjois and Chanel are the same because I have been loving and enjoying Chanel Matte Lumiere like anything. And um, the moment I found out, I knew I wanted to have one of the Bourjois foundations. But um, this was the latest addition to the collection that time. So I thought I'll go ahead and try this. Um, I bought this from Feel Unique um, because I didn't see it in India. I've got the shade 05 Golden Beige and it says A Matte Undetectable Matte Finish uh, 24 Hour Hold. Let skin care formula lets the skin breathe as light as air and it's a 30 ml tube now because it's a tube it's very travel friendly you can just put it in your bag you are not going to break it or anything it's actually very travel friendly and um, it's like this it comes with a tube so you can actually remove the last ounce the last drop of this foundation and use it and um, so it costed me around 995 pounds of this foundation it's so light on skin that I don't even feel that I'm wearing anything I'm actually wearing it right now and um, and it feels um, very smooth your skin feels very smooth and it's a medium to uh, high coverage medium to full coverage foundation and it's matte so it's not going to make your skin oily so obviously it is for oily skin tones if, if your skin is very dry I think you should keep yourself away from it but I don't find it very drying on the skin so maybe you can give it a try but it will be best for com sorry so it will be best for combination to oily skin mm, and the, the dry skin girls they can also try it I don't think it's going to show up your patches dry patches or anything like that it covers everything literally everything I do not have too many blemishes or um, too many pimples or too many discolorations it's like very pretty normal which this does a great job with I'm like really happy I don't my skin looks flawless my skin looks flawless with this foundation I'm really happy with this foundation applying it and I'll just share my views while applying this and how it is this stays on me for good nine hours because that's the longest I've worn this actually and the day I had applied it uh, I had actually tried it out one day when I was actually traveling for four or five hours so it was pretty humid pretty sweaty pretty hot but uh, it still was holding up pretty well it did not budge at all um, it it does not make me oily like even if my t-zone is oily sometimes it still works I mean it doesn't look very oily doesn't look oily at all actually it looks pretty much the same maybe after nine hours I have not really tried it but it's a, so nine hours is a decent time you know uh, for a drugstore foundation but it is actually it feels like a high-end foundation it is that good um, it's not very runny but the only thing is because it's matte foundation it's kind of a uh, little hard or little uh, it's not very runny or liquidy so you have to actually work on really you actually have to work on very fast on this um, so probably you can take half and half face and work on it but I can't say it enough girls I mean I love this foundation if you can get hands on it just get hands on it and um, this shade is a perfect shade for me it's 05 golden beige and I'm an NC41 uh, so I think the, found the people who, the girls who are from NC40 42 MAC um, this will suit them the best and also I would like to say that these foundations are like yellow toned I mean they also have, they also have foundations which are yellow toned so 05 golden beige is a yellow toned foundation so it looks pretty pretty nice I mean I definitely say that you should try it on but just check it out um, when I apply it just see how it is if you like it for it so if you like the foundation and if you like what you hear keep on watching so let's get started. So let's apply this on our skin. I'll zoom it in. Alright, so I have just um, done my eye brows, my eye makeup and my lipstick uh, and some concealer under the eye which I have not powdered um, and pretty 
much my skin is so pretty much this I have this bare skin you can see the uh, concealer lines and pretty bad makeup actually so um, as you can see my skin it has uh, developed light red spots due to I think some well, one of the face wash which didn't really suit me apart from that I don't really have too many blemishes to hide and these are like very minimal it's like it doesn't show that much I just have little darkness around my mouth my face what I'll do is I'll apply this with my bare fingers so that we know and then from this side of my face probably we can use a beauty blender so how the formulation is so I'm I have taken like a pump or one pump kind of a thing and I'm applying on one side of my face because we want to test it out it smells of rose water kind of a thing I don't know if the ingredients say that but it smells of citrusy rose so if you don't like uh, uh, foundations with perfumes then it's totally good for you so I'll just blend it out like that it is a mousse consistency which I can see it's very easy to blend And wow, it's very smooth. I like the effect. It is, it is definitely a, um, it's definitely a medium to a full coverage foundation. Easily a full coverage foundation. this side of the face I have a foundation on and this side of the face I do not have any foundation on which is like the dark wood redness and discoloration kind of thing and this side looks very flawless so I I am actually in love with this foundation so on this face I'll use a sponge a one pump like this much for one So as I said, if you don't like perfumes, smell of any kind of smell on your foundations, this foundation is not for you. The smell is actually pleasant. It's nothing like anything which won't suit you or I don't know. If, if you're allergic to smell, probably you keep out of it. And it's actually easy to blend it with a blender, it's fast. And there you go. So it looks very nice actually. I have uh, worn this foundation. Let's see. It has covered everything. I think if I use it with the fingers, it gives more coverage. Obviously, um, it kind of shears it down if you use a sponge and or a brush which um, look you should use it with your fingers because it definitely gives one coverage like full coverage with just one application rather than this side oily over my t-zones like this I am a combination skin tone but with this foundation I do not get oily at all um, foundation I totally give it a thumbs up and I love this foundation like anything I think after my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, which is my edgy foundation, my favorite all time favorite, like my bestest foundation, this is the next foundation I love. Um, I'm I totally recommend this foundation to all of you girls. See you, bye bye, and take care. Like and subscribe.